My name's Alec Fenton, I'm the wildlife ranger for the catchment area at Loch Catron. Um, my beat encapsulates the north shore and the south shore. As you can see it's quite a quite a wild looking area, but uh, my job's primarily deer control. People seem to think that it's a cruel thing we do, but what's cruel to me is, is seeing dead deer in the open hill or in woodland area where there's just no food for them because the deer densities are just too high. So what we're, we like deer, we like to see them. I like deer, I do, I film them, uh, I take photos and I take my kids out onto the hill to let them see deer. But it's when you see dead deer because the densities are too high. Uh, it's, it's just no good for the deer, basically. And it's cruel. It's a cruel thing to see. So my job is to make sure that doesn't happen by reducing the numbers and having the deer at an acceptable level where they're not eating themselves out of house and home. And the habitat, the habitat gets away and uh, there's enough food for them. With the fences and the fact that we've got an enclosed area now, we'll get a lot of regeneration. There's trees being planted but there'll be a lot of uh, self-regeneration with the birches that are already here and the oaks that are already here. And if we didn't have those fences there, well, we'll just, we'd never establish it because we're talking about a hefty open hill animal dropping in at night and uh, completely destroying the, the work that's been done. It'd be great to come back in 20 years, say, and just see how it's doing and just to see it getting away. Of course, there'll be somebody else here by that time doing what I'm doing. But it'd be great just to, to see these trees away and a time where the fences can come down. As you see, I'm from the East End of Glasgow and I was brought up there. But I had a lot of influences from my uncles. My mother's side, they're all Irish. And they're out, all outdoors people. And uh, a lot of them are ex-military. So as a small boy, I got hauled out of the city and taken to places like Glencoe to climb and did a lot of abseiling and I learned a few skills for them as a boy and that inspired me to get a job working in the outdoors. So for a guy from the east end of Glasgow to come and work in a, and live in a beautiful place like this, it's just fantastic. It's a dream come true and to be honest with you, it's a privilege. And in all honesty, I, I would do this for nothing. I get paid for it, which is a bonus, but I really would do it for none. It's a great job.